Hello guys, welcome back to the discussion. We are presenting a question on income tax, form 3 mathematics. The question reads, the table below shows how income tax was charged in a certain year. This is the table that we are going to use to tax this individual. The information relating to this individual reads, during the year, Madime earned a basic salary of Kenya shillings 25,200 per month and a house allowance of Kenya shillings 12,600 per month. On top of that, he was entitled to a tax relief of Kenya shillings 1,162 per month. Part A, calculate Mwadime's taxable income in Kenyan pounds per annum. Taxable income is the amount of money that we use to calculate tax of an employee. And how do we get the taxable income? To get taxable income, we take the basic salary, we add all the allowances, we minus what we call nominal rent, and mostly nominal rent is those people who work for the government and are provided for a free house. The basic salary we have is 25,200. We add the house allowance of 12,600. We don't have the nominal rent and any other allowance. And therefore the sum of the two will give us an amount equivalent to Kenya shillings. 37,800 per month. We need to calculate the taxable income in Kenyan pounds per annum and therefore we take 37,800 Kenya shillings we divide by 20 to change them into Kenyan pounds. We multiply by 12 to change them into per annum and this one is going to give us Kenyan pounds 22,680 per annum. We move to Roman 2 of the question. Calculate the net tax he pays per month. Remember to get the net tax. We get the gross tax, then we less relief. First, we are going to calculate the gross tax. Gross tax is usually calculated from the tax brackets. And we are going to calculate the gross tax as follows. Remember, we are going to tax 22,680 Kenyan pounds per annum. And we are going to identify where this amount lies in our tax brackets and you realize 22,680 is above 21,781 meaning we are going to tax this amount in all these brackets. Let us first know the amount that we are going to tax in each bracket. In the first bracket we are going to take the maximum of 3630. Then in the second bracket, you take the maximum which is 7260 minus 3630, giving us 3630. In the third bracket, you take the maximum which is 10,890 minus 7260, giving us 3000. 630. In the fourth bracket, we are going to take 14,520, which is the maximum, minus 10,890, giving us 3630. Then in uh, the fifth bracket, 
you take 18,150 minus 14,520, giving us 3630. In the sixth bracket, we take 21,780, you minus 18,150, and this one is going to give us again 3630. We go to the final bracket. And for us to get the amount that we are going to tax in the last bracket, we add all these amounts, then we less from 22,680. And you realize, when you add all these amounts up to this point, you get an amount equivalent to 21,780. So to get the amount we are going to tax in the last bracket, you take 22,680, we minus 21,780, and this one gives us exactly 900, and that is the amount we are going to tax in that last bracket. From there now we can be able to calculate tax as follows. We have uh, how many brackets? That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We proceed as follows. We have the first bracket, which uh, has 3630. We have the second bracket, which has 3630. We have the third with 3630. We have the fourth with 3630 we have the fifth bracket which has 3600 that is 3630 we have the sixth bracket which has 3630 then of course the seventh bracket which has 900 which is the remaining amount having known the amount we are going to tax in each bracket in our first bracket the tax rate is 2 shillings, next is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 7.5. So we are going to multiply the first bracket with the tax rate of 2 shillings for every 20 bob. And this gives us an amount equivalent to 7,260. The second bracket we have the tax rate of 3 shillings for every 20 bob and this gives us an amount equivalent to 10,890 the third bracket we have the tax rate of 4 shillings for every 20 bob and this gives us an amount equivalent to 14,520 the fourth bracket we use five, 5 shillings and this one is going to give us an amount equivalent to 18,150. Then the fifth bracket we use uh, the tax rate of uh, 6 shillings. If you multiply this we get an amount equivalent to 21,780 then the next is 7 shillings and this one gives us an amount equivalent to 25,000 25,410 then the next one which is the last one we multiply by the tax rate of 7.5 giving us an amount equivalent to Kenya shillings 6,750 from here, when you add all this amount, you get what we call gross tax in Kenyan shillings, that is per annum, and this one is going to give us an amount equivalent to 104,760, and this is per annum. From there now we can proceed and get uh, the net tax. Remember, we have already mentioned that the net tax will be equivalent to gross tax minus relief. 
but we have to convert the gross tax from per annum to per month as follows so the gross tax per month will be gotten by taking 104,760 we divide by 12 and this one gives us an amount equivalent to Kenya shillings 8,730 then from there now we take 8,730 we minus the tax relief of 1162 and this one is going to give us a net tax of Kenyan shillings 7568 per month for us to have our six good marks in case you were asked to calculate the net salary net salary could have been the taxable income minus total deductions since we don't have any other deduction apart from the net tax so we take the taxable income in kenyan shillings and that was uh, 37,800 minus a deduction of 75.68 and this one translates to an amount equal to we have a uh, 37,800 minus 7568. That is a uh, sorry 37,800 minus 7568, giving us 30,232, and this is the net pay or the net salary for Madime. Thank you for watching and welcome to our discussion. And in case you are watching this channel for the first time, please take one second and click the subscribe button so that anytime we publish a video like this, you'll automatically be given a notification.